Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our daily pay-per-view boxing match. My name is the Corny Announcer, and today we have Bolcha of yesterday ready to take on the newly Bolcha of today. This fight is about to begin, so let's get to the introductions. Fighting out of the left corner, a subpar boxer holding a record of 1 win and 0 losses. He stands 5 feet and 11 inches tall, weighing it at 155 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Canada. Bolcha, the charismatic nerd from yesterday! Fighting out of the right corner, an average boxer holding a record of 0 wins and 0 losses. He stands 5 feet and 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Ottawa, Canada. Bolcha, the charismatic nerd from today. Alright, come in the middle. Alright gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do this. You ready? You ready? Get to work! Violence is always the answer. Just kidding. But in today's video, we're going to discuss how we can be better than the person we were from yesterday. Honestly, to answer that question, it comes down to one thing you need to have, not only once, but for the rest of your life. And that one thing is more self-awareness. So, what is self-awareness? Well, since I'm not that eloquent, let's get my favorite philosopher Google to give us a brief description. Self-awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts, or emotions do or don't align with your internal standards. When you're self-aware, you're going to see whether or not you're improving in general. Whether it comes to random challenges in your life, or standing up to your work bully, dealing with your emotions, or getting rejected by that semi-cute girl, you'll be able to take a step back and take note how you felt and how you reacted. And then you'll be able to verify whether all that is in accordance with your internal standards. And when you're taking note of how you are dealing with things and how you felt about them, you'll be able to see what direction you are headed. Are you getting better at dealing with similar challenges? Or are you staying the same? Or are you getting worse? Your actions will make the answers very clear. And this idea of keeping track of yourself is not foreign like Quebec's oil. For example, when you work out, you keep track of your weights, your sets, your reps, and your rest time because you want to be able to track whether you're getting stronger, staying the same, or getting weaker. Okay, but why is it important to be self-aware? Besides keeping track of ourselves, the most important reason for being more self-aware is developing self-honesty. Being human, we have a tendency to lie to ourselves. When you procrastinate and tell yourself that you're going to do X tomorrow, we all know you're lying. And like politicians, we buy into our lies and move on. And then nothing changes. But when you can be brutally honest with yourself, then you'll be able to be your own best friend. That best friend that tells you that you're about to do something stupid, that best friend that will be able to give you advice on where to be better. That best friend that will be proud of you when you make progress. And personally, I think the greatest gift from self-honesty is the fact that you'll be able to make fewer life-altering mistakes. Like marrying the wrong person, staying in a job for the wrong reasons, or allowing toxic people to ruin your life. Self-honesty helps you see reality with more clarity. However, self-honesty isn't easy, but it's worth it. And before I move on to the next section, I want to leave you with a quote from the OG Sigmund Freud for you to think about. To be completely honest with oneself is the very best effort a human being can make. Alright, so how can we be more self-aware? If you watched any of my videos the past couple of months, you're going to get sick and tired of my answer. If you can't afford therapy currently, then journaling is your answer. I won't spend too much time on this, but when you journal, you're writing out what happened, how you reacted, and how you felt. When all of this is written down, you can take a look at it and see whether or not you're improving. Plus, you have all your past journal entries, and this will give you an indication of whether your trend is positive or negative. And that alone is priceless. It's like how we keep track of our workouts and notebooks. Our journals allow us to keep track of where we are in our development. 
But what if you find it hard to keep a journal? Well, I got you. Go download my Build More Self-Awareness report at my website. In three simple steps, you'll not only learn how to keep journaling as a habit, but also how to make journaling fun and easy. In three simple steps, it will show you how to keep journaling every day, but also how to make journaling a fun and easy experience. I've tried journaling countless times and failed every single time except for one. By using three simple strategies, I've been able to make journaling part of my life. So go check it out, the link is in the description and also in the first comment below. Alright, before I blab on too much, let's do a quick summary. To be better than the person you were yesterday, you have to be more self-aware. You need to be more self-aware so that you can develop more self-honesty. Journaling is a great way to be more self-aware. If you have a hard time journaling, then check out my Build More Self-Awareness report in the description or the first comment. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please show me some love. Like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my email list for some nice goodies. And like always, guys, remember, you're not just any type of nerd. You're a charismatic nerd.